Hi, this is Trey Miller with Global PM. I'm making a video today to discuss the difference between the different schedule calculations within P6. Um, if you've ever gone into the sk Schedule Now uh, dialog box, you've noticed that there are a couple different schedule options under the advanced uh, features. Uh, one of them is total float is equal to zero, so dis display all critical activities as those that have zero total float. And then the other is longest path. So I wanted to illustrate a situation where we are actually ahead of schedule. So what I did was, behind the scenes, I set up a must finish by date for the project mid-March. Okay, as you can see, I'm scheduled to finish on March 1st of 2016, so I'm actually nine days ahead of schedule. So with that said, everything is showing as green. All of the activities in my Gantt chart are showing as green. Well, it, you, the situation is usually with the clients that I work with, it, you know, even if we're ahead of schedule, we'd still like to see that longest path, the, the, the critical path to us the driving path on the, of the finish date as red. And I say, okay, well, this is how we go ahead and change that calculation. So to do that, you go to F, you can just hit F9, you go to tools, then schedule. So I hit F9, and go ahead and do that. Okay, and then under the schedule dialog box, you notice options. So we're going to take a look at some more advanced options. And you can see under the general tab that define critical activities as, we have two options, two radio buttons that we can select. One is total float is less than or equal to zero hours. And then the other is longest path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select longest path and hit close. Then when I hit schedule, you'll notice that the critical path shows now as red and not green. And here you are. Thank you.